Hi, Mark. We're live at the Kansas City Soccer Dome, the training facility of the Missouri Comets. The MISL playoffs get underway this Sunday, and the team is training hard for their first game. Speaking of training, I'm going to do a little bit with the team. We'll have that coming back after the break. You're watching Fox 4 News at 9. Well, the Missouri Comets indoor soccer team ended the regular season on a five-game winning streak. Mm -hmm. Now they're getting ready for the big playoffs. They start this weekend, and this morning Nick is taking some time away from his anchoring duties to uh, help the team practice before their first semifinal game. That's on Sunday. He's live at the Kansas City Soccer Dome. Uh, that's near Front Street and Topping with more. Good morning, Nick. Hi, Kevin. Mark, uh, good morning to you guys. You know, it's been nearly 20 years since Kansas City brought home an indoor professional championship, and the Comets are getting ready to go on their quest to win a title. With me here this morning is goalkeeper Danny Waltman. And, Danny, uh, you're the MISL Player of the Week. The team has been playing great. Five-game winning streak uh, to end the regular season. What is it going to take to get past Milwaukee in the first round? It's just going to take good games by everybody, uh, some good goalkeeping, and uh, <laughs> definitely some good commentating by you up in the booth to make sure we do what we're told and uh, make sure we get support out the IAC uh, Sunday. Yeah, you guys are obviously loose. By the way, your hair looks great this morning, Danny. Uh, you guys are going to help me uh, do some training here. Now, you guys do something here um, that I'm not, I don't know if I've ever played it before here, but uh, we're going to it's like keep away, right? What are we going to do? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just a simple game, keep away. Uh, players on the outside trying to keep the ball away from the players in the middle. You could call it piggy in the middle, if you will. Everybody has one touch, and you're just trying to keep the guys in as long as you can. Okay, so the two guys that are in the middle, if they touch the ball, the last person to touch it, it has to come into the middle, right? That's right. Whoever All right. Makes them you're going to be in here in the box with me, Let's right? Let's do it. Let's work on your defense, buddy. All right, here we go. I need to bring over uh, Lucas Rodriguez and John Sosa here. You guys are going to do a little bit of commentating of me in the box here. All right? Live television, all right? So you guys be good here. Be funny, too, all right? Awesome. Here we go. Right. Here we go. So we start by saying that you cannot touch the ball on the first pass, which means that if you touch it, you get uh, five automatically passes. So you probably have to stay there for an extra session. Nick Basso still in the ball. First time. Great job, Nick. Good job. Let's see. But he to Andre, Andre to Allen, Ramon brings it down for Milan, Danny with a touch, BP brings it back and almost, there was no touch. As know. you all can tell, Leo Gibson is not very excited about playing defense. As you can tell, you know, Nick was actually the one that did most of the work, uh, unfortunately for Nick. For some reason, he's struggling to get out of the middle, but we'll see what happens. Come on, Nick, yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Come on, yes, Nick. we Don't touch can. It. Oh, that's five again. That's five again for Nick. Let's see if we can get Nick out of the middle here pretty soon, hopefully. He's got season tickets in the middle. Oh, the head. I don't think he oh. saw the ball coming his way. He looks tired. All right, there we go. <laughs> All right, great job, John. Lucas, thank you guys very much. There he is. <laughs> hey, the Missouri Comets this Sunday afternoon at 10, uh, 310. They'll be taking on the Milwaukee Wave. For ticket information and to watch the live broadcast, CometsIndoorSoccer.com. Woo! Got a breath. Send it back into you. Wow. <laughs> the workout, huh? Not bad. You got that right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Nick. Again, the Comets playoff game is on Sunday, 310, at the Independence Event Center. You can check the website for more information and tickets. Welcome back. 945 is your time. You are looking live. The Comets are practicing. They have their first playoff game later this weekend. We wish them the very best of luck. You're listening to their theme song, Midnight Express. Nick Bassos is having a little fun out there this morning. I think we'll be checking back in with him here in just a little bit. First, let's get a look at your forecast. Let's send it on out to Nick. Okay, Michelle, we're live at the Kansas City Soccer Dome here, home of the Comets Training Facility. And the Comets, one of the highest scoring teams in the major indoor soccer league. And the leading scorer in all of the league is number 14, Leo Gibson. We'll chat with him. Coming up next as the Comets get ready for the playoffs. You're watching Fox 4 News at 9. Our practice is going out there for the Missouri Comets. They're getting ready for the first playoffs game this weekend. Our own Nick Bassos is out there helping in the workout. Nick? 
Hey, Mark, thanks for sitting in for me on the 9 o'clock show. Do appreciate it. Kim and Mark, uh, the Comets, yeah, they're training out here at the Kansas City Soccer Dome, their training facility all season long. And the game is going to be coming up on Sunday at 310 out at Independence Event Center. The game of indoor soccer, pro indoor soccer, is a high-scoring game. And one guy who has scored more points in the league than anybody else is Comets forward Leo Gibson. Leo, congratulations uh, on a, a good season for the team and, and for yourself. What, what has it been for you? How have you been successful in the league against these great indoor players? Well, um, it's just because of the team. It's been a great um, privilege being on this team in the past four years and just how much they trust me and just being a complete servant to this team, whether it's defense or offense and, and just really respecting whatever decision my coach makes depending on that game. So that has been a huge contribution towards what I do on the field. You know, uh, a lot of fans, uh, you know, we, we watch a lot of soccer. There's outdoor soccer, and, of course, there's indoor soccer. The indoor game is like human pinball. It is so fast. If you could give uh, some advice to the kids out there that are playing in a, a rec league or uh, maybe they're playing in a club team, what advice would you give them if they were going to play in the indoor game? Well, my advice to the kids would just be um, to have fun. Have fun. Um, enjoy the people you do it with. Enjoy the people. Enjoy the people you do it for, and just appreciate the opportunity, the gift that you have to play this beautiful game. So that's my advice. Yeah. All right. Final question for you. What's it going to take to get past Milwaukee? Oh my goodness! It's going to take mental toughness, um, physical toughness, and great team effort. Um, discipline to offense and defense. That's what it's going to take. All right. Hey, congratulations on a good season and best of luck on Sunday, Leo. Thank you. Thank you. Comets forward Leo Gibson with us here. Comets and Wave coming up on Sunday afternoon at 310. I have had a blast out here, you guys, at the KC Soccer Dome. Hope everybody can come out uh, to the Independence Event Center on Sunday. We will see you there. Back inside you. You're the announcer for the team. Yeah, real quick, Nick, can you say he scores for us like you would? Well, if Leo Gibson were outside the three-point line, I would say uh, Stokic over to Gibson. Gibson for three. Shazam! <laughs> a three-point goal. We nice. Hope he scores a lot of those. Good job. <laughs> Thank you, Nick. We'll Thank see you, you back here at noon, bud.